what is good you guys we are here to give an update it's been a while i know y'all need an update it's literally been four and three four years and three months <laughs> I know y'all need an update. So I'm here to get an update finally. But if you are new here, my name is Smiley. And welcome to my life. Hey. Hey. We back again. Today. <laughs> you guys thank you guys for watching this video already because if y'all want to see the update hear about the update i'm very appreciative for the people who've been keeping up i've been getting more subscribers than i had when i was posting videos like people just still been subscribing i haven't posted nothing so imagine now when i'm actually going to be subscribing and i make that promise to you that i'm not leaving for that long ever again bro i'm here and i'm here to stay i'm here to grow and i'm here to show y'all who i am and why you should subscribe to me and why what we doing on this journey honey i had to kind of show you better than i could tell you but i will try to explain that in this video as well so let's just start off with where i've been okay because last time y'all seen me i was still living in hawaii i was recently single i'm still single take that out the way so i moved out of hawaii in the end of february and i've been living in colorado since um, I lived with my grandfather who has dementia, taking care of my, helping to take care of my grandfather who has dementia so he didn't have to go to a home. Um, I don't live there anymore because it's hard to be, he a 24 hour person and you know, I gotta go to work. I can't just be there 24 hours, you know, but anyways, so, so yes, yeah, so I moved back to Colorado. That's the first update in February of 2019. Once I moved back to Colorado, I started hanging out with the same people again. It's super different when you leave and you're like at peace somewhere because I didn't know nobody in Hawaii. Like I, it was literally just me and God, like for real. And then like, cause especially after my ex left and my sister would work, she worked in the night. So in the day it was just me, me. I met, like I had coworkers that I became very cool with. If you watching this, hey. I hope everybody's doing good. I really enjoyed my time with you guys. That was amazing. But anyways, so yeah, most of Hawaii, I was, when I was at home, I was just by myself. So I was, I didn't realize how much at peace I was until I came back to Colorado and to the chaos of where it all began, <laughs> you know? So, oh God, I got to turn on the fan. It's too hot in here. Pause. This is the first day I actually did like darker lip liner and it actually came out like okay. Usually it just blends and makes one color. So that's why another reason why I'm gonna be making a lot of videos about my growth experience and what to do and not to do in certain situations and certain aspects, certain things to look out for with certain people and yeah. We just have a lot to talk about, so go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> Turn the notification bell on, honey. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. If you don't know, I, I, I probably got ADD, so I can't stay on topic for too long, okay? Just not diagnosed, but I got basically every symptom you can think of. But anyways, so I moved back to Colorado February, the end of February 2019. And then not so long after I got back here and I became cool with the female that's like my party friend who's always been my party friend. We, we stopped being friends for like a year. I We became cool in Hawaii because I was at peace there. So I made peace with anybody that I had any type of friction with. I decided to make peace with, honey. So I can't really say I regret that because I was in a good place there. And But... I should have not came back and automatically started hanging out with that person. I didn't hang out with the other people, but that, that person every day like we used to because not only was did they not make that progress from being alone like I did, but 
their life actually declined. And so my life declined, not just hanging out with that person, but hanging out with that person is hanging out with they, the people that they hang around with, which is just drama, drugs, partying, all of that. I don't do drugs. I smoke a little trees sometimes. I'm about to not be able to do that. I'll get into that soon. But anyways, so I got into drinking a lot. And I was gone, like, every day. It's before, when I first came back, we didn't know my grandpa had dementia yet. But we just knew, like, his memory was not good. But it was just like, okay, we're chopping it out to old age, whatever. Uh, So, we used to, like, bump heads a lot. Because we didn't know he had dementia yet. And I'm like, are you tripping, old man? You crazy, old man? Like, I, we, we literally had this conversation. Like, what are you talking about? No, you ain't never told me that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's people with dementia. Before you really know that they have, they're not diagnosed with dementia, you just kind of go through some stuff. It was like that, okay? So from my grandpa's house, I lived there for a little second. I don't even remember the month I moved out. But then I moved to my mom's house. And my mom were bumping heads because I just need to move by myself. And it was so frustrating when I moved back to Colorado because I had a job set up. Nowhere in the job description, nowhere did they tell me I needed to have a car to work the job because I had to be going to different meetings. But it was the perfect job for me. I was basically hired. I, it was a good amount of pay. When I went over there, they hired me too until the point I said I didn't have a car. Like, ah, so that's where the struggle began because I had some money saved up. So when I get there, I wasn't going to be broke. When I got back to Colorado, I wasn't going to be broke. And I already had a job set up. So I was just about to keep going. So that was the first L I took coming back to Colorado was not being able to get that job because then it's a struggle to get another job. And then my grandpa's house is not as close to the bus route as my mom's place is where you can get everywhere pretty Pretty quickly because she lives by downtown which means she lives by all the bus routes and the train routes but anyways so that was the first l then started partying and drinking a lot and many of the friends i was doing the same thing I ended up getting jumped downtown and wasn't even at the club wasn't even going to party in the club which ended up being a setup I'm going to have to do a story time on that because I'm not talking about that in this whole video. That that was a mess, honey. Um, that This is all the same year I came back to Colorado and I wasn't dealing with none of this in Hawaii. I need to go back now that I think about it. <laughs> I already thought about that. But after, I kept telling myself like I was just going to do it for the summer, but it was like October and I was like, wait a minute, the summer's gone and I'm still drinking and partying or whatever. That's also the first year I tried ecstasy. The first time I tried ecstasy, first and last. That's the only time I've ever tried another drug besides marijuana and alcohol. I'm just trying to make a basic <laughs> summary because this video is already like 12 minutes, okay? So I'm just going to have to like dumb it down a little bit. If I'm going to, don't worry, you guys. We're going to have, I'm going to have to talk about, I'm gonna have, I have plenty of stories to tell y'all, plenty of things to talk to y'all about. Just be patient. So, okay, so that's, we just ate 2019 down the road, okay? 2020, boop. I was still drinking and stuff here and there. 2020, I got my car, so you know, we, we was outside. Me me and my friend, we, we, we was outside, okay? But I wasn't doing drinking every day, but by this time, I was smoking marijuana every day. That's when I started smoking marijuana every day, and I still smoke marijuana every day, but I had to slow down because I'm about to take you away. But anyways, there was a lot of drama that happened. Just drama that feels... I, mean, I was just in a depression. In a depression. So after I moved back to my mom's house, me and my mom weren't clicking that well. Now I have to speed this up even more because my space is running out. So, yeah, me and my ex are still cool. We still talk. I just got off the phone with him. Um, But, yes, we're not together. I'm So I've been single for a year and three months now. Um, But, yeah, so that explains 2020. Now let's think about 2021. 
2021, I cut off everybody. <laughs> I cut off everybody! Woo! They have to go, honey, honey. Woo! Like, literally, I don't hang out with nobody. I will explain that a little bit more in some videos. I'm telling y'all, y'all just gotta stay tuned. You can't tell this video is already long, and I'm not even going into stories. Like, bruh. What I'm just got to edit out a lot. I I might make like little coworker friends at my jobs, but like really, I don't do shit. I don't really have many friends I hang out with. I'm still cutting off people, people that I. And most of these people that I'm cutting off are people that I been knew, because we can't expect, we can't excuse people for doing certain shit that you wouldn't, certain stuff that you wouldn't allow people who don't know you, who you just. Like, don't put up with nothing that you wouldn't put up from a stranger. If you're like, girl, I don't even know you. Do you know me? Check. Check that person. Check your family. Check your friends. Check check anybody like you would check a stranger, okay? Don't put up with nothing. That's one advice I can give you with that with this video. Yeah, so I'm slowly but surely cutting every toxic thing out of my life. So it's been really solo dolo for me right now. Like, I most of the time I just work and come home. I'm in between jobs, but I'm in a work program. Someone hit my car while, that I was on lift in, and they said it wasn't appealing enough, and it was a lift rental, so I had to return it, and it wasn't appealing enough to keep driving lift. And now, I got pulled over in November, and they, it was some bull racist stuff. Um, but once I got pulled over in November, um, they gave me a DWI for marijuana. It, DWAI. It was supposed to be DUI, but since I was barely over the limit, they gave me a DWAI. Like, oh, thank you. You still messed up my life. But anyways, so I have to go through all these classes, and I'll take you guys through all this training and everything, and that's why I'm not going to be smoking that much. So, yeah, I got to do D, DUI classes. I got a mad panel. I got to do community service, honey. I got to do so much. And I, and I was barely even speeding. There wasn't even no speed limit sign from the time I turned the corner and I barely turned the corner to the time he pulled me over he was right by the speed limit sign you got to give people at least two blocks come on now yeah so this year has already been I just need to tell myself that I don't need to do every year the same like if, no matter what's going on personal life and certain things like that there's no way I'm going to be at the same position next year because for the last like two three years in a row it's been the same thing. I lost my car, so I lost all my job and my income. And I just can't be in the same position next year. I, like, it, the last few years, it is when I, the year started, I didn't have a job. And I can't do that. So once I get a job, I'm in a program now that's going to help, that helps me get a job for one, helps me get move out for two, because right now I'm back at my mom's house. I moved back in with my grandpa. Um, and then once I came too much, because like I said, he needs 24-hour cab, I moved back into my mom's house so now this year i'm just on a grind i'm on a grind i'm like i i'm not putting this with no more i'm 26 years old we, we approaching 30 honey like this is the year i'm so i'm like i'm back to youtube I'm, i already have like a plan in mind of what i want to do business wise i'm starting my business this year as soon as i get i'm in a program so as soon as i get a job i get first month income I mean, for, yeah, I, get, I have to have a one month of income and they can help me find my own place. And I'm going to be recording me getting my own place. Finally, my first my first apartment. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do have to get a job first. I got to work for a month. But I'm going to be posting videos in between time. So stay tuned. Stay updated, honey. Um, yes, I'm posting a job. doing. I'm getting my job in that. And I'm going to be starting a business this year because I, I cannot work a nine to five forever. I just can't do it. There's never going to be a nine to five that I'm going to be happy. That's part of the reason why I can't stay at a job. There's never, oh my God, I'm trying to make a video and everybody trying to make noise. Anyway, so, because there's no way in hell I'm going to stay at nine to five forever. There's no nine to five that I'm going to be happy with. Like 80 and a half more months of this year to do some difference and make sure that my next year doesn't start off in the same position. Because obviously I'm in a toxic cycle. I keep ending up in this position at the beginning of the year. So, stay with me on this journey, you guys. I have so much more stories to tell you guys, so much more advice, so much more fun, so much more reactions, so much more that y'all can just get to know me. Oh my God, that y'all can just get to know me and just take this journey with me. You guys become family with me. Love you guys. I promise you I'm never going this long again without posting. 
My mindset is totally different. I'm on a grind mode right now. I'm like, this is the sign. I've had so many times where I'm like, I felt like it was a good sign, but I, depression and other stuff were getting away in the mess and me hanging out. And then I'm like, oh yeah, everybody's taking advantage of that time. Now they're doing all the ideas that I was thinking about in my head that I didn't actually put into an actual content. And now it's that time where it's starting to feel like that again. Like, ooh, this is the time that like it's when it catch with me. People are getting exposed. The industry is <laughs> And I've been on that. I've been on that since a kid. So I'm excited. And you should be excited because I'm back. And I'm actually going to take advantage of this time. And we're not going backwards no more. We're not going backwards. We're not, we're not even backwards. We're, I'm, I've been going ahead. But we're not being at a stagnation nowhere in our life. And I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. You need to keep up with me to, to even understand, to even, like, really really be here with me you need to keep up with me in order to do that you need to go ahead and press the subscribe button after you press the subscribe button go ahead and press the notification bell to be notified anytime i post a video without all that being said i thank you guys so much for watching this video my name is smiley <laughs> and i'm out